is uh, I love you Pisces okay um, happy new year and we're going to see what's happening in January for you Pisces okay um, it's a it's a month of uh, um, judgment so um, and you guys are having the energy vibration of uh, um, the world so it's good for you Pisces okay so let's see what's happening for the Pisces you have the energy of the world thank you for being back thank you for supporting my channel this is just so wonderful okay it's you Pisces so this is so good let's see I have been going and I'm so tired but we're finally going to be ending this so let's see what's coming up for the Pisces there is the energy of the tower something is coming to an end in your life in the first week this is going to be good whatever needs to leave your life let it go because it had to go okay so whatever that is coming in whatever that is leaving your life you need to let it go because it has to end okay let's see what's coming up in the second week for you Pisces you have some conflicts conflicts with whatever at um, you had to let go in the first week you have some conflicts but this conflicts will be over so you're dealing with some hair energies okay let's see what else is coming out in the third week third week you're dealing with the queen of swords whoever this person is is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra um, this could be your wife for some of you this could be a friend this could be someone a friendship um, let it go let it go let it go there is going to be a lot of quarrels and a lot of shit that is happening in your life and for the people who are in relationship with the Aquarian Gemini or Libra <laughs> my heart goes out to you oh yeah okay yeah 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 okay so here you are some of you could be ending your marriage in the first week um, it's coming to an end the tower is there there's conflicts in the second week and it has to do with an Aquarius Gemini or Libran and this could be some of you if it's not your wife it has been a long-standing relationship um, this is ending so um, let it go outcomes you're going to be connecting with the uh, um, um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, young woman um, your wife could find out about this relationship and this is why um, the thing is it's in the fence and <laughs> yeah so you Pisces okay you begin the year very good <laughs> alrighty okay you women between the ages of 18 and 45 you could be meeting someone in the last two week but the men could be having a huge explosion that your wife girlfriend or something found out something and they are pissed off okay let's see what's happening with the tower and the five of your intuition listen to your intuition you Pisces in the first two weeks of January listen to your own intuition don't let anyone tell you anything else you are ruled by the planet of Neptune your spirit guides are coming in and let you know something about whatever left your life the first week second week you're dealing with the king of sword whether this king of swords is um, it's gonna be something because you're having some conflicts with the king of swords um, you're dealing with a king of swords whoever this king of swords is you're having some conflicts and some of you are dealing with uh, so if you're a woman you could be dealing with the king of swords if you're a man you could be dealing with the queen of swords okay was not a good thing to have a relationship with these people victory and success is coming for you because you Pisces are standing up and said hell no this is not how it's working I will show you how it works and I, that's why I love you Pisces so much you're very quiet but shit don't mess with you Pisces I love you guys so much <laughs> you have the energy vibration <laughs> of the earth sign people sometimes okay so whoever you're dealing with you Pisces who are dealing with the air sign people because this is another thing that I'm gonna do something about relationship with because sometimes 
we get involved with people who sometimes it's karma that we have to bring out with these people but right now it is so it says hey now so you you know to hear and no further what's coming out two of cups the ladies and this new love that is coming in you're going to be dealing with uh, the king of swords don't do it do not do it ladies don't do it don't get in that relationship it looks nice Woo. he is showing you the world but don't do it it's not going to be hand in good okay the eye princess and the knight of swords what's happening with the eye princess and the knights of swords again listen to your own intuition you are having some conflicts with um, someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra listen to your own intuition there is the energy of the um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn that is coming in this is a young lady some of you or in conflicts with your wife and it can have to do with this young lady now this young lady is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whatever the situation is some of you are going to be leaving your wife and reunite with this young lady because you realize that this young lady is the love of your life okay so um, this could be happening victory and success against the king of swords that is a good one yes because you're gonna find the inner strength um, to get rid of someone who is a um, Aquarius Gemini or Libra you're gonna stand and speak the truth and said hey don't mess with me bye and that is good that is so good the moon and um, the um, princess of pentacles victory and success this is good victory and success so some of you could be dealing with a situation where um, you were in a relationship with an Aquarius Gemini or a Libran and you are realizing that um, this is not the relationship for me I'm seeing a divorce that is happening and you're going to be justified because this woman is coming at you okay but you're going to be victorious and successful because you decide um, to go with the um, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person you're protecting yourself some of you are protecting yourself from this Aquarian Gemini or Libra okay it is so it's as I don't want to deal with you I don't want to know you you would find the inner strength and you're protecting yourself from whoever this person is and you're finding the inner strength the outcomes is a transition this is good because this is the energy of the scorpions um, this is a good energy because what it's it is is that you're victorious and successful over a situation and you're standing your grounds and you're like hey I don't have any time for the bullshit so leave me out of this of course you're here in your reading so you men so it has to do um, a whole lot of situation is going to affect the lives of you men especially the ones who are in relationship with the um, water sign people the Aquarian the Gemini's and the Libran um, you ladies are going to be meeting um, a man that is a um, Aquarius Gemini or Libran don't get into this relationship it's not healthy not healthy don't get in this relationship it is really 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 not healthy whoever this person is get rid of them um, it looks nice now but it's not going to be ending up nice okay it's the beginning of the year and it looks nice but it's not going to be ending up nice so whatever the situation is whatever that is playing out in your life release yourself from this situation because it's not really one of the most positive situation for you men you men are going to be receiving some help so you Pisces men will be receiving some help now as we look at the beginning of the week there is something that is ending out of your life listen to your own intuition you're going to be victorious and successful with this as we look at the last week some of you ladies between the age of 18 and 45 is going to be connecting with a man um, that is an Aquarius Gemini and Libra He's 45 years and older. You need to find inner strength with this person. Block this person. Stand your ground against this person. Not a good relationship. 
don't start it because it's not gonna end good some of you are um, having um, situations with um, your wife if she's the queen of swords this queen of swords and um, it is not something to do with justice it has to do with something um, that you are in a relationship with either an Aquarius Gemini or Libra woman Aquarius Gemini or Libra man which is a young man you know leave this leave this relationship it's not very healthy Wow this I'm using the deck and um, this is the number one energy this is a new start that is coming up for you Pisces this is so wonderful this is so positive so I'm sure for all the Pisces who are star seed, this is a wonderful energy this means that your life is about to change so this is a wonderful energies okay yeah I've been going fast because it's all the years day and I want to get this off so um good good message that is coming out for you Pisces but you're have to be dealing with these air sign people that the most beautiful person that came in was this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn she's a nice young lady um, she came in and um, there some of you are going to be connecting with this young lady she's between the ages of 18 or 45 this could be your daughter um, for some of you it could be your daughter um, but it's a good relationship that you have with this person okay for some of you this is a new love that is about to enter your life and this is going to be wonderful let's see what are the spirit guides that are coming out for you Pisces I'm so happy I'm by this Pisces now okay I have two energies this is the first one and this is the second one the first energy is said is that I'm under the set health set LT boundaries so you Pisces need to set healthy boundaries in your life because obviously there is something that is releasing out of your life you need to set healthy boundaries okay then you have the brown bear spirit take time out take time out so don't rush back in another relationship if a relationship has ended in your life or a situation has ended in your life take time out so that you can find yourself this is exactly for the ladies the ladies um, exactly this is exactly for the ladies the young ladies who are about to connect or was in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or don't do it don't do it because here you see you have to find inner strength in this relationship okay ladies and gentlemen for the extended of this reading please check out the link below and it will take you to on demand to find out what is intriguing is going to be happening for the rest of your reading 